Last month was the deadliest month for American troops since the start of the war in Afghanistan in 2001. Responding to calls for more troops by U.S. commanders, President Obama has pledged to nearly double the number to 68,000 troops by this fall. What will they be facing? Tonight, we're going to tell you about a small group of American soldiers on the front lines of the war. We lived with them for a month last September on a small forward operating base in eastern Afghanistan, not far from the Pakistani border. It's where the real fight against the Taliban and Al-Qaeda is happening, in canyon valleys and jagged mountain hideouts, which are crawling with enemy fighters. Mostly over. Did either of you think when you landed here that you would be landing in a hornet's nest? No. Not at all. Please. The base commander, 29-year-old Captain Thomas Kilbride, has seen more combat than any of his soldiers, constantly deployed since 9-11. Has it changed much, Afghanistan? This is your third time here. Uh, Afghanistan, the blood... Oh, you good? Yeah. How bad is this area? Uh, it's it's uh, one of our worst areas. They have the advantage. They know this terrain uh, more than we do. It often takes eight hours or more every day. Every day, yeah. Bitch. That was right there. That he, he, we've had. They were pretty well armed. They were pretty well armed. I told the same thing as 2006 and in 2007. Oh, it's, it's not that the enemy's stronger, it's that we're more successful. Well, you know, I'm not telling you that. I'm telling you the enemy did increase from 20 to 30 percent this last year. And, I mean, you haven't asked yet, but I'll tell you that they are doing more complex activities, which concerns me greatly. So I'm not here to blow smoke up anybody's dress. Uh, I'm not... When Captain Kilbride reviewed the tapes right after the battle, he counted over 50 heavily armed fighters in these pictures. The gunmen had also filmed their own attacks and training. Anything good? Then this eerie discovery. Do you think they're watching every time you, you go out the gate? Oh, yeah. More and more, the fighters they face are foreigners, General Schlosser told us, coming over the border from Pakistan's tribal areas where they have sanctuary. Can you defeat the enemy inside Afghanistan if you, have, if you continue to have no access to its base across the border in Pakistan? Yeah. That seems like an impossible task. I think it makes it extraordinarily difficult. There's no doubt in my mind. Americans should know that we defend ourselves and we fire right back inside the Pakistan because it, it is a threat. You're right. They do need to know that because it's seven years on. And, they, and we didn't say this very much. Yes. I'm telling you the truth. We do. Still, U.S. soldiers are not authorized to operate at will on Pakistani soil. Would you like to be able to conduct raids across the border? There's a lot of things I'd like to be able to do in life, Laura, but I've, I'm a professional soldier after 32 years. I do what is legally permissible under the laws, and uh, so here I am. But it's got to be frustrating, though. I mean, I know it's frustrating for the it soldiers. Is. There's no right. doubt. There is no doubt. How under-resourced are you? I've been very clear that I need more resources, more soldiers, and more assets. Those assets can't come soon enough for Captain Kilbride and his men as we found out on this mission in search of a reported roadside bomb. We don't really know exactly where it is. It's somewhere in this area, um, so we're just checking bridges. The soldiers didn't find it that day, but the morning after we left... You see the purpose of your mission here, your presence here. 